ready or we just let it dissolve. It's up to you. So I ended up having that stitch dissolved. Um, Allison, did you end up having your eyelids sewn shut at all? No, they don't do that procedure here. It's a pressure patch and then basically let the air get to it. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I don't, from what I get, because I am also on, an, on a Facebook group uh, called Ocumel UK, which is Ocumelanoma patients here in the UK, and I've never come across anybody here have that done. Oh, that's crazy, because it seems yeah. way common, very common in the States. And then I know, Clay, I feel like you were maybe one of the exceptions, because you didn't have it shown shut, right? No, that would have been really weird. I would have said, take these <laughs> stitches out. I don't know why you're doing this to me. It did it, to me. Just didn't make any sense. I should be using my eyelids, and I should be my eyes should be functioning and should get some air. And of course, I also this was my first choice, mm. right? I wasn't doing a nucleation on top of an already irradi uh, uh, an area that got proton or radiation that already had some damage. I was going from a pristine, good, healthy eye, clean break out, quick healing. But it seems to be personal preference. It seems like uh, a lot of plastic surgeons like to sew it up. Um, and then it, there doesn't seem to be any... It's, this one truly seems to be the doctor's yeah, preference. Yeah, it really does. This is yeah. how I do it. I sew your eyes shut. 